Hi. Today is Sunday, and um, it's the 19th, 20th of May, 2007, and um, it's been quite a interesting weekend. Sorry, I think a mosquito is going me. Um, yesterday was my uh, birthday, 64. Well, scary, that is, a little bit. I, um, I remember when, thinking when my father was 64 that, God, he was ancient. And, um, when he was 65, and in the UK that's when everyone retires at uh, 65. Um, I certainly thought he was ancient at that time. But um, what I didn't realize was when he was 65 and he um, was retiring and his plan was to go and live with his um, sister, my aunt, in Guernsey. They had a lovely house in Guernsey and his plan was to go there and retire there. And um, he paid his last visit to me uh, before he would go over there and, and live out his retirement. And uh, we were camping in our favorite camping place at the time, which was Northampton Billing Aquadrome. And um, we had a bunch of caravans, or trailers as they call them here, um, all arranged around in a circle like a wagon train. And um, we would meet every year. We used to meet in tents and we'd moved up to trailers. And uh, it, it was an ideal situation, but it was a particularly busy weekend I think because they do twice a year they would do this cheap weekend and the place was uh, well it was so full of tents and vehicles and caravans and boats and people and um, we were on a particular field that we were used to that we used to go to every year and had been going every year for several years as many as probably seven or eight at that time and um, what happened was that my father actually got lost and he just couldn't remember what field we were on and it's not like you can ask information very easily uh, where's my son which field is he on etc etc so he um, kind of seems like he walked around a little bit. never occurred to me that he was in any problem or whatever, but um, he uh, apparently took a while. He wasn't frail or anything. He took a while to find us, and then when he did, he wasn't feeling very well. Um, and I had to go back to um, where we lived at Peterborough, the next day I, I would go back to work, do my driving lessons and leave the family down there, which they enjoyed. Uh, the three step sons and my two own daughters would be there virtually for the whole of the summer holiday, which was six weeks of them, sometimes, not always, but sometimes they would be down there for the whole six weeks, uh, where a lot of the other kids in the street never got anywhere, never got to go anywhere. But um, so anyway, um, I got a call from my then wife Jan to say that um, he wasn't, he'd been taken ill and she'd taken him to the um, first aid who'd rushed him to hospital and then I came back from Peterborough to, went straight to the hospital and he'd had a four hour operation and Apparently he'd had some kind of thrombosis. He wasn't really used to doing a lot of work, uh, walking. He lived in London, right in the city of London, in a university um, 
uh, as a chef and he had accommodation, a flat there, an apartment there and uh, so he didn't do an awful lot of walking and I don't know if that triggered the thrombosis off but um, the doctor told me he was he was in a bad way and unfortunately he'd, he had had an operation when he was 55 uh, where they took the vein out of your leg and whatever, the bypass thing and um, he, he hadn't given up smoking like he should have and he hadn't either given up drinking as he should have so in point of fact he um, didn't have a healthy artery in his body apparently and they were at um, they had a problem in trying to find a decent artery to do the uh, to, to mend the, the, the situation with the mend the problem so and they just really after four hours just stitched him back up and said to me well you know he's he's afraid he's going to die and um, it was a bit of a shock to me and it was the only time I stayed with him right through the night there and um, talked to his sister who he was going to go to in um, Guernsey on the phone and told her how hopeless it was and she was so very upset and being so far away but um, he he died in the night and he had lasted three months into his retirement, his, the, the life that he had worked for all his life, the life he had mapped out for all his life where he was going to um, have his pension and his insurances and this and that and he was going to live in um, idyllic Guernsey the island of Guernsey just off the coast of France and it is very nice there very small uh, elite very beautiful island which I visited several times and but that did change my life somewhat changed my attitudes somewhat in that it's obvious to me that um, you know you, you, you can plan for things you can make your plans but um, it can all come to nothing and so uh, whereas I had been reasonably content with my life as it was there in Peterborough England um, I really decided that my life in fact wasn't and I knew it hadn't been ideal for me I'd always been looking at living somewhere with a nice uh, temperate climate um, like Greece I'd looked at Greece many many times at places and talked to people and I even had a supposed brother I have a brother in Greece who he's my you know not my real brother but we were born actually on the same day of the same year um, and we consider each other to be brothers I haven't seen or spoken to him for such a long time but I know that I would be welcomed with open arms the minute I saw him again and um, so would 10 or 15 other Greeks who would almost fight over me or fight over you to to have your company and to be your friend and that's what I remember about Crete what a wonderful island what a wonderful people and yes that's how uh, I remember um, Crete but so I, I had wanted to live in a, a place like that and and I, I wasn't happy and fond of the uh, British winters that seem to go on after Christmas which is kind of a jolly time and that we don't have Thanksgiving so everything is piled into the Christmas thing and the New Year thing and then anticlimax it's uh, January, February, March, April, May and the weather can be appalling all the way through those times and um, in the job that I was in which is driving instructor I, I took quite a lot of risks I was pretty good at my job I think I was I had been teaching the people of Peterborough for 25 years and I was now teaching the children of the ones I taught when I first went there as uh, 25 years ago and I'd also re um, uh, established myself as a computer tutor. I took a year off and took uh, about 20 different 
um, exams at different levels so that I had, in fact was taken on by the college eventually to teach part-time uh, computer studies myself so I enjoyed that I've just seen a big big bird come down into my garden there a great big red cardinal if you've ever seen one beautiful bird is down there on the bird bath 